Hello everyone and welcome back to another GTA Online guide where today we're going to be seeing if high altitude bombing is something that can be done in GTA Online. Now bombs have been widely considered as being completely useless, they're inaccurate, they're expensive to buy, and if you do manage to hit your target they don't really deal that much damage. If you're interested in seeing how effective the four different kinds of bombs in GTA Online are, then you can visit this video after you're done watching this video. Anyways, one day I had a thought, if you're wanting to take out someone who's either on the ground, either in a car or on foot, and you don't want to risk your behind from being sniped by an explosive sniper, then it would be great if there was some way that you could dish out the damage if you're at high altitude. And since there's no such thing as an AC-130 in GTA Online as of this video's upload, bombs are pretty much the only thing that can be considered for a long range air to ground weapon. So is it feasible? Well, to find out, we first need to see if it's both possible for the drop bombs to reach the ground and explode without any problems, and also see if it's possible to effectively take aim for an accurate dropping. We will first take a look at aiming, since if you can't aim, even an overpowered bomb would be rather ineffective if it came to a real battle. To begin, I started off by recording the locations of me beginning a carpet drop and the location of where the bombs hit the ground. Where I begun the carpet drop was important as any sort of aiming must have consistent rules. And my rules to begin with were, number one, go to the maximum altitude that you can get in the game, number two, drop at an exact point as marked on the head up display radar. I used the radar because using the camera button for the bomb runs was being blocked off by the clouds, making sight on the most part impossible. Once I picked an exact point of where to drop, and the heading, I then recorded the bomb's path to find their final resting place. Um, resting place? Yeah, as it turns out, bombs that quote unquote hit the ground that are of a certain distance away from the bomber choose not to collide with the ground. This can be more easily remedied by following the bombs as they make their descent. But of course this makes the whole point of high altitude bombing pretty pointless since to make the bombs explode on hitting the ground, you have to be close enough to the ground yourself for it to work. So after this I decided to invite a friend to a private game to troubleshoot where the problem lied, and as I just stated, it is indeed the fact that the player is too far away from the bombs when they hit the ground. I tried to see how close you had to be for this to actually work, but the distance was so short for the bombs to work that any sort of high altitude bombing is completely impossible, unless your target was on top of Mount Chiliad for example, and even then your target could easily fight back with the use of an explosive sniper. It's much more effective to just use your main gun since you're so damn close to the target. So there we have it, another reason why bombs suck. But why does this happen you may ask? Well the simple answer is this. Optimization. When the player character is in one spot of the game, the nearby location will work just fine in terms of physics and collision, but take an object far away from the player like in the case of the bombs, and you end up with some pretty weird stuff happening. I guess Rockstar wasn't able to make bombs act like they should in real life due to their aging game engine. But do not fret, as I have another way to make this work. What's up you tossers, here is the mission briefing, our objectives are as follows, kill everyone, and blow up the enemy base, that is all, any questions? Ok comrade, we are about to drop zone, everyone jump out. In any case, I hope you found this short video interesting, and if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the Pyram Gaming channel for loads more videos coming to you very soon. See you around, folks.